Hi, welcome to Unity in Under 3, where we're going to teach you how to create scripts and how to work with the editor in Unity in under three minutes. Today we're talking about setting an object's position. So in one of our previous videos, we talked about resetting an object position. So that means that it's going to go back to where it started at the beginning of the game. But what if you want to just be able to click a button and have an object move, or change places, or even reset a player if they get stuck somewhere? Today, we're going to talk about setting an object's position. So go ahead and create a new C Sharp script and call it set object position. Double click to open it into your script editor. So like many of the scripts that we're going to create, because we don't want anything to happen on the start or on the update, we're going to go ahead and just delete all of those. Now that we've gotten rid of our start and our update functions, where the first thing we need to do is create a serialized field so that we have a place to type in the editor what we want for our X, our Y, and our Z positions. Where do we want the object to go to? So we're going to create a serialized field by creating brackets and just typing in serialized field. So what we've done is created the serialized field and we made it private. We did a vector three so that we have the X, the Y, and the Z coordinates. You could do a vector two if you're working on a two dimensional game and we called it set position. Now we need to create the function that will allow us to set that position. So we're going to create a public void here and we're going to call this one set position function. Close it with the brackets and then open up our brackets to add in what we want to have that function do. Remember not to create a function that has the same name as your public class, it won't work. So it's very tempting to say, okay, I want to call this set object position, but you can't do that. So we just put set position function. Now we're going to tell it what we want to do. We want it to transform because that is moving something from one place to another within script is transform. So we're gonna call it transform, we're gonna call it position. And then remember up here where we set the set position, we're going to set it to that equals set position. Now it's all set to go. So basically what we've said is we wanna transform the position of the game object that this script is sitting on to the set position, which is what we are going to set up here in the serialized field. Okay, so here we are back in our editor. So here's what we do. We choose the object that we want to move and we're going to place that script onto that object. Now notice it will automatically say 0, 0, 0. So we're gonna set it to 10, 1, 10. So now that's set there. So for that to occur, I need to call it. And in this case, we're gonna call that function by using this button right here that is set position. So we're gonna call this set position. We are going to click on it and we're gonna drag the basket that contains that script and we're gonna change no function to set object position and then down to where it says set position function. Now we're ready to go. And when we click it, notice how that object is not there anymore. And when I double click on the basket, it's way over here located at 10, 1, 10. So we've now set this object exactly where we want it to go. 